Um, I started making a video last night, just like a random rant, but also something like with a purpose. Because I'm trying to make every video with a purpose behind it. Last thing, like, I hate wasting people's time. Like, yeah, I could make a vlog about my day and shit, but I'd rather, like, give you guys value. Always, always. Um, but yeah, I was on a rant. I'm on the bridge, by the way, that's why it's so windy. Um, I was on a, I was recording last night, but then it cut off. Now I'm here. Um, uh, yeah, guys, I feel like yesterday's video didn't really have, a, it did have a purpose, but like, it didn't have a, a topic. I was just kind of like, this is going to go off my head. And um, I was like, the day went on, this is last night. I realized like I want to talk about good and bad days and everybody in life experiences obviously good and bad days however it's what you make of the day because there's seven days out of the week right and if I counted myself honestly I should say and on Saturday right now I had five days five good days so far I'm on my sixth day like I should be grateful that I went through all those days already you know what I'm trying to say but if, if you want to be realistic, honestly, I had like two or three good days. Yeah, like two or three good days. And um, like I said, it's what you make it. Uh, honestly, and it's kind of dumb. However, I have my, my goals that I want to accomplish and, and that I, and I want to reach. And so when I don't feel like I'm working towards them, it makes me feel like shit. It literally makes me feel like shit. And then I, that is not a good fucking day. Not a good day. Like I feel, I wouldn't say trashy. However, I do feel down and like, like kind of hard. I got to pick myself back up and shit. All right, back to what I was saying. I just, I cut off the video, but just to see uh, if it was actually recording good. But yeah, when I don't, um, work toward my, towards my goals that day or any day I feel down like I feel like unaccomplished and honestly it's just because I have like other things that I can't control that come into play in my day and so that takes away time and and, and so you know you have like everything is opportunity cost if you're gonna give up this for this then you have to let go of this and then you're gonna start something new all that bullshit right but it's what you make it because just like you and anybody you aspire to be or look up to you both have the same 24 fucking hours and so for you to be like oh like I just don't have time or I'm too tired or I can't do this I can't do that it's just like you already playing yourself and um, this is I guess off topic but I um, you victimize yourself and you don't give yourself like the hard work or the credit you deserve or like even the opportunity to be uncomfortable and get where you want to be you know what I'm trying to say and uh, that's that's the problem People victimize themselves, and when you, whenever you victimize yourself in such as that way of like, I'm not able to do that. I, I don't have time. I can't do that. I have like no experience. Like, you never let yourself go anywhere. And I saw a video that um, this lady was talking about her coach. It was such a good video. Um, her coach was like just complaining, like everything was going wrong. Everything was going wrong. Like it was literally. Uh, her coach is a bodybuilding coach and she's training and she still had like two hours of cardio left her foot was like getting fucked up she was starving she was going through all this shit and yet she still had to train and then after at the end of saying all of that shit that's going on with her she was like it doesn't fucking matter and I was like she's like it doesn't matter because if you keep validating your feelings and giving yourself excuses to stop. If you keep giving yourself excuses to stop, you're never gonna do whatever the fuck you wanna do. 
just because you're victimizing yourself. And the whole the whole purpose behind that uh, that video was that you you have to say fuck your feelings, literally fuck your feelings, because if you keep, I'll give you an example. I want to go to sleep early, right? But I haven't studied all day, and so I'm like, okay, well. I'm gonna have a shitty day tomorrow if I stay up and study because I'm gonna feel like drowsy and grumpy and just tired. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep early and not study. However, if studying is gonna help you get to where you wanna be and you don't do it, you're validating your feelings too much. In, in a way, that's the best possible way I can explain it. You keep victimizing yourself and you're never gonna get to where you wanna be just because you keep giving yourself these excuses to not do the hard part. And that's why you have to say, fuck your feelings. Your feelings don't always matter. And then she started speaking about balance. And she was like, fuck balance. And I was like, what? Cause I'm like, how the fuck are you supposed to like do all this shit without balance? And she was like, back to the same fuck your feelings. If you, if you have a, a, a level in life of where you want to be at, essentially, you're going to have to go through a period of being unbalanced to get to that period of balance in that, in that level of life where you aspire to be at. Okay? You can't. You have to be unbalanced to get to that certain level of balance that you want to be at. There. Um, and, it's, and it's fucking true. And I can give these guys a perfect example. Uh, junior year was the most depressing year ever of high school. Uh, I felt so alone and so like, I guess you could say like depressed. And, and even though I had like so many like friends and family, I I still felt alone, like, like deep inside, like empty. But I never knew why. But I went through periods of of growth because of that, through that, because I knew that junior year was a year where you had to work hard because that was the year universities were going to look at so that you could, um, I'm sorry, somebody just came by, I got mad Um I worked so hard that, that junior year because I knew that universities would look at that year's school grades because they don't give a fuck about senior year. When you apply to a fucking um, university, it's in the beginning of senior so they got nothing to look at in senior year. They got to look at it. And I remember I worked so fucking hard, bro. Like, it's the hardest, like the like the best academic school year I've ever had, honestly. I, I had almost all A's every semester. And, um, but I had to, I, I went through like periods of just being sad just because I had to like put my mind on certain shit and like, I went through periods of being unbalanced to get to that period of balance my senior year because senior year was nothing like junior year. I had a fucking blast senior year. I was out of that state. I felt fine. I felt like I was more connected with the people around me. And that's exactly what I'm trying to get at. You have to get a period of being unbalanced to get to a period of, of, of balance of where you want to be at. And um, just lately, I've been trying to... Um, Im implicate that into my life because um, I feel like I'm using big ass words or no. It's not even. I've been trying to put that into my life because um, I've been feeling too comfortable, y'all. Too fucking comfortable. It's summertime and obviously, I mean, it's cold as fuck right now, but it's, it's, it's summertime. My, um, I'm in summer break and um, I wouldn't want to like waste it by just partying. I feel like I'm done with that period of my life. However, I definitely am still gonna go to a party here and there this this summer break. However, I feel much more focused and um, concentrated on my things that like I want to be uncomfortable. Like I want to do uncomfortable last shit to grow, like personally and like physically and spiritually emotionally do all these things to to make me a better david straight like that and so i've been like implementing a new routine into my into my 
day to day, uh, I've been changing the way I eat a little, being a little more strict with certain meals, um, going to sleep a little bit earlier, waking up earlier. It's been feeling super good. I'm like fucking happy. Like I like it. However, it's not consistent just for the fact, like I told you, I have my bad days and shit just comes in the way and I don't do what I want to do just because I validate my feelings too much. And eventually, like, if you keep on doing that, you're not going to get nowhere. You can't get nowhere if your feelings are always, like, coming number one. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but I had such a long day. Like, I need to smoke this blunt. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. You need to go to fucking sleep. Work hard for the next day. You know? Oh, shit. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, being unbalanced to, to get to a period of balance is where you want to be in life. And saying fuck your feelings because sometimes it's always stuck. Feelings don't always matter, honestly. They don't. Um, that's the whole purpose of this video. I really want to try and make new videos every week. That was my goal for the, for the month of June. However, honestly, it's my first, I think it's my first video this month. I get distracted and I need something to tell me every day, but I will get better. It's a summer of growth and I'm like super happy that I'm going through it. Summer, actually, I think summer started June 21st is the 18th and um, I'm just so fucking happy, honestly. I'm so grateful. Every day I say I'm grateful, even when the day is so fucking shitty, like I feel so down, like nothing could make me better. I still go to sleep and pray and say I'm grateful. Just because Everybody watching this video, you are so blessed. You are so fucking blessed. And I really hope you know that. Just because... Just because, um... I bet you didn't have to go to sleep hungry. I bet... You got out of bed and, and fucking went back to bed all last week. Healthy. I bet you didn't have to miss a meal. I bet you would go healthy with your fucking body perfectly. Oh god, I'm so sorry. You know? And like those are things to be grateful for. To be able to go to the store and buy whatever the fuck you want. I'm not talking about a new pair of jeans, I'm not talking about food to, 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 to do you good, you know? Clothes that that could fit good and look good on you, you know what I'm saying? Like people don't have that. And you have to like, Accept that and realize that. Like, visit a third world country and see how fucking blessed are you. I visit. I visited Colombia when I was um 14, 15, 14, I think. And uh, yo, I really experienced poverty. Like that shit is fucking crazy. Like I thought. I mean, I knew I didn't live poor. Like I knew I had like friends that were like in like in like the lower class and, and like I've, I've seen poverty in different states and in my city and shit but yo poverty is everywhere in third world countries and for somebody to be like I'm fucking poor like you may be poor here but there's somebody poor in their country and got way less shit than you so there's always something to be thankful for always um that's the whole purpose I, I'm gonna just end it here Please get out. I hope the thing you got out of this is fuck your feelings. Your feelings don't always fucking matter. If you keep validating your, your feelings, you're playing the fucking victim. And you're not gonna get shit done like that. If you play the victim, you're not gonna go nowhere. Nobody's gonna wanna be your fucking friend either. I hate that shit. Um, go through periods of being unbalanced to reach periods of balance. Just because you can't, you can't reach this level in life if you're gonna keep shit equal. You have to do shit differently to get different outcomes. And be grateful. Go to sleep and fucking say all your affirmations and, and say everything you're grateful for. Yo, everything you're grateful for. That shit is real. I'm not talking about Oh, uh, Siri, Siri cut me off. Um, I was done though. Uh, say what you're grateful for. You have so much shit to be happy and thankful about. Uh, Make the most out of your day. Plan plan your fucking day. We're grown. Plan your day. Um, but yeah, guys. 
have a have a blessed day. I hope you got something out of this video and, and much love.